टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द ब्रांचेस एंड मसल सप्लाई बाय द साइटिक नर्व सो द साइटिक नर्व इज द लार्जेस्ट ब्रांच ऑफ द सैक्रल प्लेक्सस द रूट वैल्यू ऑफ द साइटिक नर्व इज एल फोर एल फाइव एस वन एस टू एंड एस थ्री ओके द साइटिक नर्व इज रन इन द पोस्टीरियर पार्ट ऑफ द थाई द पोस्टीरियर पार्ट इट विल सप्लाइज ऑल द हेमस्ट्रिंग मसल इट सप्लाइज द hamstring muscles your okay. it supplies semi tendinous then it will supply semi membranous it supplies biceps femoris both the head long and the as well as the short head then lastly it supplies the adductor magnus muscle hamstring part of the adductor magnus muscle okay in the back of the thigh in the posterior part of the thigh it will supply semi tendinous semi membranous both the head long and short head of the biceps femoris and hamstring part of the adductor magnus muscle then the nerve comes downward to the popliteus fossa and bifurcating in two branches tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve okay, in the popliteal fossa the nerve will bifurcate by two branches in two branches the first now or first part is called as the tibial nerve and the second part is called as the common peroneal or common fibular nerve now this tibial nerve is supplies back of the leg superficial as well as the deep muscle of the back of the leg okay in the superficial muscle in the back of the leg it will supplies flexor muscle of or plantar flexor of the ankle gastrocnemius soleus and plantaris muscle in the deep muscle it will supplies popliteus then tibialis posterior flexor digitorum longus and last muscle is flexor hallucis longus tibial nerve supplies back of the leg all the superficial as well as the deep muscle now this common peroneal nerve divide into two branches superficial peroneal nerve and deep peroneal nerve this superficial peroneal nerve is supplies the lateral compartment or the lateral side of leg peroneus longus and peroneus brevis
this deep peroneal nerve supplies the anterior compartment of the leg tibialis anterior extensor digitorum longus extensor hallucis longus then peroneus tertius it will also supplies the extensor digitorum brevis in the foot and extensor hallucis brevis So we'll revise the topic. Today we discuss about the branches and the muscles supplied by the sciatic nerve. Okay, it is the largest branch from the sacral plexus. Root value of the sciatic nerve is L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3. In the back of the thigh, in the posterior part, the sciatic nerve supplies the semitendinosus, semimembranosus, long and short head of the biceps femoris muscle, and hamstring part of the adductor magnus. Then the nerve comes down in the popliteal fossa by bifurcating in two branches tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve this tibial nerve supplies back of the leg all the superficial and the deep muscle of the back of the leg in the superficial part it will supplies gastrocnemius soleus and plantaris muscle in the deep part it will supplies popliteus tibialis posterior flexor digitorum longus and flexor hallucis longus muscle the second branch common peroneal nerve it divides into superficial peroneal and deep peroneal nerve superficial peroneal nerve supplies the lateral part of the leg peroneus longus and peroneus brevis muscle deep peroneal nerve supplies the anterior compartment of the leg tibialis anterior extensor digitorum longus extensor hallucis longus peroneus tertius muscle from the foot extensor digitorum brevis and extensor hallucis brevis